Hey everybody, Alex here. I'm going to show you how to set up IAM delegated access in Labelbox. So the first thing that you wanna do, and you can follow along in the documentation that I have linked below, is go to your account tab, go to integrations, and click new integration. So the easiest thing is just to keep this tab open because we're gonna need these two ID values right here. Um, the next thing that we'll need to do is uh, create a permission policy. If you already have a permission policy that you wanna use, then just go ahead and skip this step, but I'll walk you through how to create a permission policy in AWS. Um, I'll go ahead and click create policy here. And to create a policy, um, we have in the documentation a sample JSON that you can just copy and paste. I need to replace this value here with the um, with my bucket. So I'll go over to my bucket over here. Um, this bucket is called LBAC test data. My permissions are set this way. So block all public access is for my, my bucket settings. I will go ahead and go to properties and I need to copy this Amazon resource name. And this is the value that I put here. This is essentially just the, the name of my bucket. And what this does is it will allow Labelbox to only access this bucket. So I'll go ahead and click next tags. We can bypass this step because tags are not necessary to set up IAM delegated access. So we'll click review. And then um, we just need a, a name for this. Okay. Your policy. So now we have our permission policy ready to go. The next thing that we'll need to do is create a role in your AWS account for Labelbox. So go back to roles and I will create a new role by clicking this button here. If you're following along with the instructions, it says to select another AWS account. And this is where you're gonna need to go back to this integration um, tab in Labelbox, because you'll need to copy this Labelbox AWS account ID, paste it here, check the box for require external ID, Copy and paste that there. And you do not need to check the box for require MFA. That's not required to set this up. So I'll go to next permissions. So we need to attach the policy that we just created. So um, the one that I just created is AC sample policy two. So I will go ahead and check the box and click next tags. We don't need any tags to set this up. So we're just gonna bypass the step. And then I will name the role. And then I'll click create role. Okay, so you'll see that if I click on AC sample role, the next step is to paste this ARN value, which is the, the role ARN and paste it here. And for consistency, I will just name this the same thing. Um, one more thing that we'll need to have set up is your S3 bucket needs to have a cores configuration. Cores stands for cross-origin resource sharing. So by um, specifying a course configuration in the permissions, you can um, allow app.labelbox.com and editor.labelbox.com to access the assets in your S3 bucket that you specified in your, in your policy. So you can also find this in the, in the documentation. I just went ahead and copy and pasted that in this section here. So make sure you have that set up because this will not work if that's not set up. Okay, so the last step is to save this integration. To check whether this integration was set up uh, correctly, you can press this little icon here 
and you should see two blue check marks, um, which means that the role was successfully assumed and that the ID was configured. So now we can click OK. We know that that's good to go. Uh, the next step is to add our data set. So I'm going to go to the data sets tab, add a data set here. And I already created a JSON file. I can show you. It just has two images in here. And I took the, the URLs from um, this bucket. There's two objects in here, fish1 and fish2. And so I just copied this object URL and pasted it in this JSON file. So I save this as IAM demo dataset.json. And so when I go back to Labelbox and I create my dataset, I can just go ahead and import this here. So when you are done importing the JSON, you can select an integration. So the one that I just created is AC sample role. Start upload. And then you'll see it up here at the top. So in order to validate this data set to make sure that it was configured correctly, um, you need to click into the data set itself. And then again, click this uh, refresh icon at the top and you should see three blue check marks indicating that this was done correctly. Okay, thanks for watching.